Do you have my XLR? Yeah, I got it here. Okay, thanks. What is this? It's the only one I had. I'm sorry. No, there's a wrapping job. What's wrong with it? I thought you had a wrap. Did you? <laughs> Our acting is horrible, bro. <laughs> anyway, no, we're here today to show you how to wrap a cord in the efficiency of professional studios. I learned this trick uh, coming up in the studios in LA, working as a runner, intern, assistant, things of that nature. And what Colin did is brought me in a cord that looks like this, which is a cardinal sin. I probably would have got fired if I did that in LA back in the, in, in the 2000s. So <clears throat> you have to remember that the point of the cord wrap is to save the cord in the aspect of its lifespan. So if you wrap it like this, it's terrible. No good. No es bueno, as we would say in Spanish. So you don't want to do that because it'll give it bad memory and it'll eventually destroy the cord faster. So, and the other thing you got to think about is efficiency and speed. This end, which is the male end, <clears throat> is the one that goes into the recorder. The other end, which is called the female end, goes into the microphone. So you always wrap your cord from the male end. So the first way you do it is you hold it in your two hands like this, take a couple fingers, and you twist as you go in. And you want to do the same movement but with your hand reversed. Boom. And it comes up nice and pretty like this. And then you just repeat. Now, there's many different studios that do this in different kind of ways. This isn't the only way, but it's definitely a way that's very proficient. So after you have done that, the whole reason you're doing that is that from your recorder or in a, in a professional studio, you have a snake or a snake in the wall that you can just plug into immediately, is that you take this end, and if you just give me one second, you can throw it, and it's a clear line, and you throw it at your microphone. So then you take your male end, you plug it into your recorder, you run over, plug that in your microphone, you have a nice straight line, there's no kinks in the cord, and you're good to go. So, and also the reverse when you're wrapping it. So you unplug it over there, you take it out of the wall here, and then you go back and you do it again. We used to do drills, time drills, to see who could wrap up the cords the fastest and get them nice and neat and orderly. That is, I would give myself maybe a B minus with that, but that's the general idea of it. Why did you give yourself a B minus? You see all those kinks and turns in here? Um, this was already, this cord already has memory in it, and these memories are from somebody, probably Colin, <laughs> who just scrumpled it up or decided to do it like this and gave the cord bad memory. So it's going to be hard to get a perfect loop out of it. And I want you to do one more throw, just like you did. Okay. This is a little better this time. So that's a little bit better. So basically, you want to just hold the end right here from this end, and then you throw. Okay, so you're going to record a band. You're very excited about it. Uh, so instead of going to you know, the Guitar Center along the McQuaid's and buying 20,000 different microphones and having all that perfect gear everybody talks about, we're just going to do it with one simple, decently cheap mic, affordable, dynamic microphone.